Hello. Um, this tutorial is going to go over how to create um, batch exports using Affinity Designer. Um, usually I'd link to a help topic, but Affinity for some reason doesn't have one on this, so I'll just walk you through this. If when you're reading this, you should still search to see if they have one because they're probably explaining it better than me, um, but for now this will work. So for our app, we need to have all these different um, dimensions and scales for all these different icons. Uh, here you can see we need them 40, blah, 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 76, 76 at 2x, 83.5 at 2x, all these different um, icons of different dimensions and different resolutions. And elsewhere you probably should have um, gathered which ones you were supposed to use. But here's just um, an example of the ones that we used for this export of the 2015 YEI app that... Um, you can see icon-40.png with, of course, 40, icon-40 at 2x.png. Now, the way that, you know, you might think that you should do this is create one big one and then copy it and then scale it down to the size that you need and then rename it. But um, it's very time consuming, and if you screwed up on the original one, then you'll have to go back and make all of them. It's a horrible process. You don't want to do that. So you need to do something a bit more programmatic. And... Affinity has this very nice export persona, which allows you to do all sorts of things in exporting. Um, ultimately, what you're going to want is something like this. It creates all of the dimensions and all of the resolutions that we need for, or that I was told that we need, for the app to be compiled correctly by um, PhoneGap. That it won't just give us the correct dimensions, but it will also name the file exactly what we want so that we don't have to go back and uh, name everything again. Um, it's always best to put some time into doing this and doing it right so that you don't have to ever put work into this again. It's uh, not repeating yourself. DRY, don't repeat yourself. So I'll just um, kill that and let's make a new one. Um, might as well erase that too. I'm going to go over to my layers, but um, I'm in the export persona. I'm going to go over to layers and just get the whole thing. I called it icon for obvious reasons and hit create slice. Now we've got this nice slice called um, icon. You'll notice that it defaults to PNG 24 just because that's what I have on default. You can you know select SVGs or whatever you want, but what I've got is a PNG 24. You'll notice that underneath this, it says just 1x icon PNG. So this is where you can specify the dimensions and the resolution of the image that you want to export. And over here is where you can actually build a little script using tokens um, to name the thing properly. So let's get started with the first one. Um, icon 40, it's a 40 by 40 icon. So I'm... The way that I found out how to do this is I just clicked the little drop down and then it gives examples of different things that you can do. So I'm assuming that W is width. So I'm just going to specify 40W and I don't need to do a resolution because this is just at 1x. And don't worry about the uh, name quite yet. What's the next thing I need? I need an 80 by 80 icon and it has to be titled 40 at 2x, so this is a times 2 resolution. I'll just hit the plus icon, and it gives us a nut this saying that, okay, what's the second file you want to create from this thing? So I'll call it 40 again, comma, 2x. So this is telling it that it's going to export at the 2x resolution. So even though I say 40, it knows that it should just double that. And you'll see that that's a little different. You want 83.5 at 2x. Eighty-three point five wide at 2x. Then it'll give us uh okay that didn't work. because I've accidentally put the at 2x. I'm getting ahead of myself. So I'm not going to go through all uh, 17 of these or whatever. 
Um, that's how you specify the dimensions and the resolution of the icon that you want. But the second part to all this is that they have to be the files have to be named correctly, and you don't want to have to go and for each one of those that would be tedious. So this allows you this gives you a little um, icon name builder using these variables, these nice drag and drop tokens that I've seen in a lot of other Mac Mac applications. What do they have to be named? They all start with icon which is the name of the slice, there's a dash, the dimensions, and the resolution. And of course, 1x doesn't get anything special. So why don't we just say that? It's already got slice name. I'll insert a dash. I'll drag up this width token. So that'll give us 40. And scale suffix. And scale suffix only shows up if it's um, at 2, at 3, at 4, whatever. It doesn't show up if there's 1x because um, it's redundant information. I'm going to copy this because you have to add this to each one of them. Hit done. I'll do my second one. And there. As you can see, it's going to resize the image the exact way that we want it to, and it will title it, title the image file exactly what we need. You can see there's the image name, icon-40.png, icon-40 at 2x.png. Everything looks nice and good. Um, the path is just saying, give it a name of a folder. Where should it be dumped out to? Um, I want to keep it all in a folder by itself, so I'll just call it foo saying that it will create a folder called foo and then generate these three icons into it. I will just hit export them. There's my folder foo and there's all my icons. You can see that's 40, 80, 167 because it's reading the resolution. Um, yeah. Basically, that's it. Um, if you're using Adobe Illustrator, then there's an actual help topic on how to do that. It's like, yeah, right here. Collect assets and export in batches. Um, but I don't have Adobe Illustrator because I'm not a millionaire. Um, I just have Affinity Designer, which is an awesome app. I highly recommend it. Um, if you wanted to, you could save this export preset via some means. I forget how right now, but figure that out for yourself. You can do it. I know that because I, there, Thomas's iOS icons. I saved the pre, the, um, uh, the batch presets so that next time I need to do this on another app, I can just select that and it'll give me all the applications I want. Hopefully that was, um, understandable. I just threw this together last minute. So happy coding.